So what we're going to do here, prove the trig identity. What happens here is we're going to get common denominators starting off. So starting from here, uh, we're going to get 1 minus cosine, so it's going to be multiplied times itself squared. And then we're going to get sine squared theta. And this is all going to be over sine theta times 1 minus cosine theta. Now what happens next is I'm going to just go ahead and factor or foil out the the squared term here. So I get 1 minus 2 cosine theta plus cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta all over sine theta times 1 minus cosine theta. Now what happens here is this term right here goes to 1. I think that's what I'm doing here. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's right. So this goes to 1. And what we have, I'll rewrite this down here in the bottom, uh, towards the left. So I get, so I get uh, added 1, so this becomes 2 minus 2 cosine theta over sine theta 1 minus cosine theta. So what I'm going to do on the top, I'm going to pull out a 2. So I get 1 minus cosine theta over sine theta 1 minus cosine theta. So these cancel each other out. I'm left with 2 over sine theta, and this becomes, you can simply rewrite this as 2 cosecant theta, which is what we were looking for. That's it.